So the Samsung One UI 6.1 comes pre-installed with the S24 series out of the box and is coming soon to the S23, S22 and other Samsung devices. One UI 6.1 may look like a small jump from the One UI 6 but is a massive jump in terms of new AI features and customization. Yeah, hello sir, welcome to our bakery to elitist and a French adults to dress up So starting things with the power keys, so we have a slight new interface in there with medical info option which is gonna show your name, contacts, details, you are added in these settings. This is something you should enable right now. The lock screen is sort of similar to iOS, we now have options to add widget, can add battery widget, medical widget and whatnot. You guys can change the clock style, color, font but unlike iOS you guys can now move the clock left and right and can set it up better than iOS. The best part is same is visible in always on display and just like iOS you guys can enable show wallpaper option for always on display that is gonna just dim the wallpaper down saving the battery life and it's gonna show the exact wallpaper. In addition to that we have frame effect which is gonna make the subject pop out from the photo it does look amazing. Finally we have weather effect which you can turn on from the settings, additional settings, labs and photo ambient wallpaper option and then head towards the wallpaper section and select photo ambient wallpaper. Now this is only gonna work based on time and weather in your city so might not work all the time because it's gonna drain battery and heat up your device. There are no too less changes in the home screen icons but the animations are really impressive and fast and here is the UI animation in slow motion. Some apps and UI I wanna show you guys like Dialer, Message, Camera, Weather. The highlight of One UI 6.1 is Galaxy AI and shockingly it is not coming to all Samsung devices which is fair because they want to reserve it for the best in class and expensive flagships but not including the S22 series is not right. So S is coming to last year flagships and not the S22 lineup at least from the screenshot coming in from their official website. So circle to search is quite handy, all you have to do is long press the navigation bar and you will have this google lens ready to search. So yes, no need to take a screenshot and then upload it on lens to search it. Just long press the navigation and you guys can search anything on your display. Next AI feature is live translate on call and that is impressive because we have real time translator on both the side doesn't matter if one side got S24 device or not it is gonna work flawless. Yeah, hello sir, welcome to our bakery to elitist and of French adults to dress up our linos of growth and also the chocolate bread and our sweet pastry chefs we have biscuits too so it's very good. I want a cake. D'accord, monsieur, c'est bon, donc nous avons le gâteau aussi, et aussi, euh, ça fera 40 euros. Parts of all right, sir. That's okay. So we have the cake too, and also turn out to be $40. Bon, c'est très bon, donc euh, voilà, est-ce que vous payez par la carte ou par euh, l'espèce? So, it's very good. So that's what you pay by card or by cash. Note assist is yet another great feature. It summarizes text into clear points, works on Samsung internet as well. Like this is a long review of a phone on my website and you guys can summarize it with this icon in the center. And here are 4 to 5 key points from this entire article. That is time saving. Finally, generative AI which you can access from the gallery can erase, shift, move and even replace object which is mind blowing. So this is how it is gonna work which is quite scary and cool at the same time. The gallery also have instant slow-mo playback for videos so long pressing any video is gonna slow it down. You guys can view super HDR videos and photos from the gallery now something which was missing from One UI 6. Some other AI features are chat assist which is gonna fix your grammar or write sentences for you. 
then this generate a wallpaper to create your own wallpapers some small changes here and there in the ui or settings and there's a new battery protection setting as well which is gonna save the battery health so this is the one ui 6.1 small but important update for samsung users this all guys thanks so much for watching your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll meet you guys in the next one peace out